By the way, there's the little matter of your ship. My men brought her through the gate as well. We're going to use her as a scouting vessel. Do what you want. We stole it in the first place. A scouting vessel? I've assigned Benwick to her. He'll give you the details. Aizen told us to come see you. What's all this about a scouting ship? We're going to explore the outer seas. Oh, let me explain. Beyond the reaches of our kingdom lie vast, open oceans we call the outer seas. And you're going to explore them? What for? To make a map of the whole world, of course. A map of the whole world? That's right. Ifreed's pirates have many ambitions. One of which is the creation of a complete map describing the whole world. In fact, the Von Eltius already sailed all the way to the far continent for that very reason. That's amazing! You guys sure dream big. I still don't get it. Yeah, me neither. A map of a bunch of places nobody cares about? Big deal. Well, regardless, if we're going to find anything in the vast waters, we'll need a lot of luck. We'd like to borrow some of yours. And just how do you plan on doing that? I want you to use your gut instincts to tell us where to look. In exchange, the Von Eltia will be at your service. And you can keep anything we find in our explorations. You'll be able to assign us new orders from any location by using a kind of messenger bird called a Sylph Jay. Who knows? We might even come across some good treasure. Or maybe some rare food. Or brand new recipes. Hmm. That's a lot of treasure you could find. Doesn't sound bad to me. It won't take much of our time, and besides, it could be interesting. You're right. Okay, as long as I'm not responsible for how things turn out, I guess I can help. Alright, then I'll tell you what you need to know. Scout ship setting sail. Take a look at this. So now we just wait for news. Who knows what we'll find? A sunken ship full of treasure, maybe? Underwater ruins? Desert islands? New shipping lanes, perhaps. Some fish would be enough for me. Especially if they sell well. My thoughts exactly! Tuna or Yellowtail or Sturgeon!
have reported seeing a powerful demon. Its danger level has been classified as Code Red. Understood. I'll notify the Abbey we have a Code Red demon in our midst. Send out an emergency alert to the neighboring areas. Right! With wild demons this close to the capital, the Abbey must have had its hands full. Aizen, what did he mean by a Code Red demon? It's like a most wanted list for demons. From the latest I've heard, there's around 10 such demons across the territories. Oh, they sound pretty tough. That would be putting it lightly. Suffice it to say, you wouldn't want to face one unprepared. Then we'd best be prepared. Let's get going. While we're wasting time here, the Abbey is digging in. You said... Wait, you're coming too? Why did-
Wow. Those walls. They're so huge. That's Logris, the capital of the Empire. They keep demons out by enclosing the city within a great wall. Humanity has achieved great things on the backs of slave Malakim. Why the surprise, Lafayette? You've been here before, right? I have. But back then... I was not who I am now. I see. Tethered Malakim aren't even allowed the freedom to observe their surroundings. We'll soon lose such freedom ourselves. Huh? We've reached the heart of the Empire, and of the Abbey. Soldiers and exorcists are stationed all around. This is no place for a collection of villains like us. I'm not looking for a place. All I need to find is Artorias. That's it. On to battle! Not even worth my time. An inspection. They won't inspect everyone. Just act natural. Your face is all stiff. I know. You, in the black coat. Show me your documentation. Uh, um... Well? Your travel permit from the Abbey? Where is it? <laughs> Foolish girl! How many times have I told you? A magician's apprentice must wear a pleasant grin. Magician? Verily! I present to you the traveling troupe of mischievous misfits known across the land as... Magilou's Menagerie! Entertainment for the ceremony? Why, yes, indeed we are, my dear. Please, pardon my uncouth apprentice. Girl, allay the good man's fears and show him the... dove trick you've spent all these weeks on. Go to! Huh? Oh. Uh, sorry, mistress. I forgot to prepare. Y y you pathetic little shirker! A proper performer is perpetually prepared! It's fine. Doves flying around would be a nuisance. No, this will not do. If you cannot summon a dove, then act like one! Act like a dove! Coo coo. Remember, Muggy Lou's Menagerie manufactures mirth! That was just a small sample for the good citizenry of Logris! Hey, you can't advertise here! Move along! As you say! <laughs> that was a fine ploy, Muggy Lou. Well, don't expect tricks like that every day. Coo coo! Cuckoo! Those doves were amazing! Just a crude trick. If anything, it just shows the capital's defenses are pathetic. More like it shows how much confidence they have in those defenses. How many soldiers are here, Lafayette? The number of exorcists in the capital? At least a thousand. And two divisions of guards. I'd expect no less from the capital. They're not careless. They're covered. We need transit documents. See how the citizens smile? To think they were fleeing from demons just a few years ago. To hold an observance of this scale shows just how much peace their power has brought. A peace paid for with Lafayette's... Velvet?
those cheers. The royals sure have these folks in line. Subjects, may I have your attention? It is I, Percival Asgard, Crown Prince of the Midgand Empire. His Majesty, my father, and I are pleased to celebrate with you on this auspicious day. The ceremony started. It will be impossible to slip in now. After the opening ten years ago, our kingdom faced an existential threat, both from demons and the terrible spread of demon light. However, one man raised a miraculous sword and stood so that the body and soul of the land Over there. would not be lost. You can climb up if you want, but attacking now and would be suicide. And the name of that man was Artorius <laughs> Coldwell! Unfamiliar with Artorius' noble act. To bring us salvation from demons, he sacrificed everything. But he's a murderer. He called Lord Inominat, one of the five Imperians, and blessed us with the strength of the Malachim. But he's a murderer! Stop it! He serves as a shining beacon of reason in this world of turmoil. And reason is what binds us. But you killed him. You took everything that I loved. So raise your voices in praise to Artorius's devoted work. To the savior who purifies evil and guides our flock. Let us call him our shepherd. Shepherd Artorius. Shepherd Artorius. Even though the world was filled with suffering, I had to ask something tremendous of you all. I entrusted you to endure the pains of reason. I asked you to bind yourselves with shackles of your own will. For the only blade that can expel calamity is one forged from unshaking reason and the iron will to do what must be done. And now that very blade stands ready before all of us today. I offer my body and my life in service to the people of this great land. With the blessings of the Empyrean Innominat, I will guide you to a world without calamity. And this world's suffering will be nothing but a distant memory! You're the one who murdered. Fool, they'll see us. You're the one who killed Lothi said. What? The Shepherd Artorius. That's who you're after? Oh, and here I was hoping you'd just straight up pounce on him. That would be certain death. No, I need a sword of reason and will. That's the only thing that can kill him. Killing Lord Artorius. Playing it safe? Boring! Regrettably, it is at this juncture we go our separate ways. I've got a bit of hunting to do. No one's stopping you. Goodbye. Farewell! May your days be fruitful and your nights tormented! If our enemy's calling himself a shepherd, he won't be going into hiding. Let's take this slowly. The old man behind him. Melchior, I take it? 
Yeah. Let's gather information on these people. If we know what they're planning, we can find a weakness. They're the most powerful men in the land. If we're going to look into them, we need a lead first. Aizen, do you have any underworld contacts in the capital itself? Like your friend at the port? I don't go inland much, I'm afraid. But Eifried has close ties to a shadow guild. A tavern in the city, run by an old man called Baskerville, serves as a front for them. A shadow guild? Those sorts of things actually exist? Uh. <laughs> that settles it. Let's head to that tavern. They'll have food, I'm sure. Why not? My stomach made a weird noise. That's another sign that you're alive. The ex- What'll it be? Some food for the boy. Mabo curry is our specialty. It takes a week to stew properly. Mabo curry? Some of that, then. Say, do you know a man named Baskerville? I heard we might find him here. That old man? A scoundrel and criminal who went against the rules of the Abbey. They executed him long ago. Oh. Velvet! This Mabo curry is amazing! You get along so well. Is he your brother? No. No, he wouldn't be, would he? After all, your brother was murdered before your eyes. How do you know that? The shadows watch those who flinch from the light. So the guild is still active, even after Baskerville's arrest? That's right. Just like how Eifried's crew continues their piracy, even without their captain. So you're the contact? What may I help you with? I want to know what Artorius is planning. Information such as that? It won't come cheap. I have here a list of jobs. Not one remotely legal. Take care of all of them, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Take this with you as documentation. It's fake, but it's a good fake. It'll hold up to inspection. It's registered to Mogulu's Menagerie? Oh? Was that not the name you gave to the guard at the gate? <laughs> I can see you're a group to be reckoned with. Report back here once you're finished. However, be aware that should you fail... Then this conversation never took place. Got it. I'll cause you no trouble. I appreciate your understanding. You're welcome to stay the night, free of charge. Forget about work until the morning comes. <sighs> I 
Right. You're missing Captain Eifried. The Captain has done much toward our viability. I promise that I'll share anything I hear about him for no charge. Thanks. All we know is there was a pendulum on the ground at the last place he was seen. And that Legate Melchior is connected to the Captain's disappearance. How? We don't know. Sounds like you've got problems of your own. Do you really have time to take on ours as well? I could ask you why you've tied yourself up with Velvet. Me? I've got a debt to repay. Without her, there's no way I'd have ever found my blade again. A demon repaying a debt? Ridiculous. As ridiculous as a pirate Moloch, you think? Hmm. No matter how you look at it, there's nothing reasonable about our rogue existence. And in this brave new world governed by reason, a rogue can either rage and become a monster like me, or... Or band together with others. Like a ship full of pirates, perhaps. Exactly. I admire Velvet's courage, squaring off against the whole world on her own. If you can accomplish that, it takes strength real strength and I'm curious where it comes from so you're doing it for yourself after all is that so wrong <sighs> no I'm the same I need allies on my side with the strength and courage to combat this so-called order imposed by the Abbey but anyone who's willing to put up with the creed folly of Eifried's pirates <laughs> has to be an even bigger fool than we are. So I'm like you. I want to know how deep her foolishness goes. She'd kill you if she heard that, you know. It's a compliment. Fools that big aren't born every day. Aha. Uh -huh. And I imagine your dear Captain Eifried's much the same. Aye. That man flies his full flag proudly. The Shepherd Artorius, hmm? He's got the populace eating from the palm of his hand. I wonder... Hmm... Just how deeply will the fangs of our would-be tragic heroines scar this broken world of ours? I've got a traitor to find, but in the meantime, this should be a good show. This recipe looks real tasty. Scout ship setting sail. 